Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So as promised, I told you all that I was going to be making a YouTube video on the EAFC 24 beta. Um, yeah, my camera's also just turned on again, so it's probably why it looks weird. I could probably do this. I know this is just this is just some seriously like W editing right now, right guys? I mean, look at me. Um, so yeah, as promised, I wanted to try out the beta because obviously it's important to me to try that out. I got a code and I get a code every year because I'm a verified uh, player. Some people on Twitter were upset that I get a code, right? First of all, if you are upset about an EAFC beta, reevaluate yourself. It is not that deep. Now, basically how these betas work is that they'll give you like free packs for logging in every day. None of that really matters because it's a 20 day, 25 day uh, situation. And then after that, the time is elapsed and you uh, lose all your progress. So all that is gone and the beta closes. So people are always like, does it carry over? How does it work? Um, for me, I you know don't really know if betas are, are the most relevant way to tell how a new FIFA is going to be. I have played a bunch of the betas over the years. I think I've played like four or five now. And uh, yeah, they just tend to never be the same final product as what we all hope and expect shout out to the world cup we were watching a uh world cup game a long time ago from this computer um so yeah i played the game and um you know my my i'm gonna tell you guys like what i was expecting kind of heading into playing it and what i was kind of hoping for and wishing for and stuff like that and uh yeah uh, you're not allowed to show any footage, so I can't show you guys any footage. We're going to look a little bit on Twitter as well. Um, my expectation is that this game is going to be very similar to EA, uh, sorry, FIFA 23. I just think that from looking at a lot of the cutscenes, uh, from looking at what the brief gameplay they've released, it just doesn't feel like they're adding a lot of features. A lot of the, the pitch notes, the deep dives, all that stuff, we've not really seen a lot of, um, you know, additions to the game. So I feel like this is a huge game this year where EA is going to be working a lot on the marketing of the game and not actually the core of the game. Um, plus, I will say, I'll give EA this, I felt like, yes, there's a lot of things in FIFA 23 that suck. Um, competitively, I think a lot of pros will say it was the worst year overall. I think a lot of pros will say that, but I genuinely felt like this year was better than 22 and 21. 21, we just had this like crazy bad directional uh, nutmeg and bridge meta. I hated that meta. I thought that was like the dumbest thing ever. You had to literally do this like insanely not realistic move in the final third to even score and then you know fifa 22 a lot of the people that compare 22 to 23 they say well 22 had the greatest left stick dribbling the left stick was so much better and the shot cancels were crazy but the fact is you had to left stick and shot cancel seven times to even get open if you go back and watch any fifa 22 videos you will notice yes if you think the drop back in the park the bus and the five back is bad this year look at it last year was twice as bad the whole team like this year we've got the three midfielder line or the two midfielder that goes at the top of the 18. Last year, they were inside the box. You just couldn't even score. It got so bad. The games were so low scoring. And at least at the end of the year this year, I feel like I'm still playing this game. This is the longest I've ever played at FIFA. So there's got to be something a little bit more playable. I'm not saying this game, in my opinion, is every anything over a 4 or a 5 out of 10 because of how slow you have to play, how robotic you have to play, how um, ratty you have to play. I think this is the most ratty year you got to play this game because of all the, the cut that the cut down the lines, the cutbacks, the elasticos, but I feel like I'm at least playing. So that's got to be positive. So that's what I was expecting heading into this game. I was like, okay, I'm going to play a couple games. I'm going to see how everything feels. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be honest with you. I was right, right? This game, from my experience of playing the beta in a couple games, it feels very similar to FIFA 23. I almost, something for me in the past is when I, when I go play um, these betas, I always feel like sometimes when I go back to the old FIFA, it's harder for me to go back to the old FIFA. I'm like, oh man, I just played this version. I want to play this updated version. Or I go back to the, the older FIFA and I'm like, damn man, I don't, I don't really want to play this anymore. This sucks, right? Or I can't adjust back. When I went back to play today, it felt like the same thing. So that's really what I was kind of expecting. I don't see any major gameplay changes. And I felt like the one thing I would say from playing the beta and, and just reserve this uh, opinion or idea that I'm about to tell you the tackling felt better I say that every year so the betas are notorious for EA releases a version that's a couple months old not the version they actually released where the tackling feels really good like the tackling on this beta there I played probably two, I think I played two full games um, which is a small sample size to be fair but the, uh, the man the, the tackling like there was only probably one chance where there was like some jammy um 
like like rebound from a bad tackle whereas you know i do feel like tackling in 23 it's still really bad but it is better than 22 if you go back play 22 it was way worse to tackle the 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 tackle tax is still a thing in 23 but it felt a lot better so that was a positive other than that i felt like the other thing i would say is that when you're dribbling like the on the ball fluidity of the game felt a little different and that's something that happens every single year on a new fifa uh just kind of the way that people are dribbling it's different right this year when we got onto this game everybody's like oh my god this is terrible i can't turn with anybody so this year in the beginning obviously the dribbling they've made it a little bit more stiff this year they have it is a little stiffer to dribble this year uh, than it was in 22. It was a little bit easier left stick with anybody in 22. But this is also the thing that people forget. We have this yearly reset of players. Every single year, you're resetting. You're going from using 99 agility players to using like 75. So the drop-off is massive. It really is. So that's something you got to consider. But I definitely feel like the fluidity was... I don't know if it was more stiff. It just felt a little bit different. Um, the way the ball was traveling felt a lot more... Um... Uh, maybe realistic i don't know the way the ball was swerving a bit and i would say the graphics looked better the graphics definitely looked better so that was a positive too um they've added this new thing in the game where like this camera movement is all types of crazy um the camera is like moving different in the game but other than that in my two games i didn't really experience much i felt like something was a little different with the shooting i took a cross goal shot with like a player with 85 finishing and he just absolutely missed it to the left so i don't really know if like the cross goal is going to be fully meta um the power shots looked really good i did not really test out trivellas but what i will say is that a lot of the attacking fluidity i tried my 4-3-2-1 i tried 4-4-2 felt the same the fluidity on the ball was different but the types of attacks kind of felt similar I, I i scored a lot of goals using step overs which uh inception does not like but yeah step overs seem really good still skilling seems very important um obviously men and women in the same team uh, i had a couple uh, women's players in my team um it's it's interesting they they uh are feel i mean they feel pretty pretty normal compared to the using the men's players so that was interesting like they don't the difference doesn't really feel uh anything so that was a, a new thing that was going on in the beta um and yeah other than that that that's not really there's not really much else there it wasn't one of these times where you know last year i played a beta i was like this game is horrible but then the game ended up being different than 23 a little bit but it still was stiff my my, my opinion on the beta last year was that the game was very stiff like you could not dribble and that that was a huge problem and then you know what 23 came out and you couldn't dribble didn't really feel that with this one the left stick felt the same as this year so maybe we've just gotten used to it um and yeah that's really what i what i kind of like felt was going on um from the beta so that's that's really what my experience was um people are posting a lot of stuff on twitter about the beta some people were posting that i guess there was something with like golf right where people were downloading the beta and it was downloading as like a golf video game or something i don't even know um but yeah there's not there's not there's not too much else the, the only thing i would say um to all of you guys as i'm looking through twitter and, and looking at people posting some stuff the one thing i would say with this beta that i realized that maybe it was different than uh fifa we play right now is um that um what was i gonna say the menus look a lot different the menus look so much different now i want to zoom this in because i want to out of respect like this guy has his uh his beta put on here and i don't want to like show what his uh his beta <laughs> i don't want to show i don't want to like i don't want to post this video and then have people get in trouble because i'm posting their their like their beta code um so let me see if i can pull up a screenshot here so yeah i want to show you guys this so like the car designs are a lot different right the car designs are so much different um and that's how the team lineup is so there's not much there's not much change there um the informs are super clean i don't know if i love the car design um, but the menus themselves, the menus are quite different. I just wanted to kind of speak to you guys specifically about gameplay, but the menus themselves are also like insanely, insanely different. But yeah, there's not, there's not too many changes. Um, and there's a lot of, you know, if you guys want to do your research and like look online, there's a lot of stuff online. People are posting a lot of stuff about the beta. I'm just not going to post any footage because I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble guys. Um, and you know, I literally looked at something that was like, crazy for for if you're posting stuff from the the beta i think a lot of stuff was getting copyrighted 
um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching my video. I just want to kind of talk about it. It doesn't feel much different than FIFA 23, so I think going into next year's game, you should expect it to be pretty similar. I think it was pretty similar overall. And thanks for watching. Love you guys. Peace.